Hearing the accounts of war from those who served, the Grout Museum in Waterloo gets thousands of dollars to share more of the experiences of Iowa veterans. New at 5, Brian Scott has the latest on the Voices of Veterans exhibit. Brian. Well, that's right, Tiffany. As one of their final acts of the season, the Iowa legislature pledged $279,000 to the Sullivan Brothers Veterans Museum up in Waterloo. The goal of that money is to record Iowa's newest war stories through the words of the soldiers themselves. But my rifle was in the back of the Bradley. No museum, book, or reporter could possibly tell these stories like the soldiers who lived them. Nobody to talk to. This guy's 19 years old. I just, just cried. Folks at the Grout Museum want to make sure every soldier with a story is heard. You can't put a price on it. So they're putting those stories on the record, the along with the faces and names of the veterans behind them. And I will forget it. Things started to not improve. The fall before, and he you know, promised my dad he was going to keep me alive. It's a chance to hear how Iowa's war heroes dealt with some of the toughest times. I ordered him not, not to go home before the, the injured and the rest of us went. Find out what they saw in America's darkest hours. I said, the Arizona blow up. And all we could do is just say a prayer. See a huge ship just raise up all the water. And we currently have about 1,200 um, video interviews in our archives of World War II, Korea, Vietnam vets. And some modern day wars, Desert Storm in Kuwait, but thanks to the Iowa legislature, soon veterans from Operation Iraqi Freedom and the War on Terror will join those archives. Iowans who have gone to Iraq and Afghanistan do have stories to tell. It's about getting a first-hand account of these wars before, like so many others, these veterans are gone. We lost one person. Many of Iowa's veterans are already gone. Some never even came home. No one knew I was in Vietnam. I, you just didn't talk about it. But here, they plan to keep talking about it, about these Iowans, making sure every face is remembered, every hero is known, every word lives forever. That just is very uh, meaningful for us and for the veterans, and particularly for the veterans and their families. Now, thanks to the state funding, the museum will be able to ramp up their efforts for the next two years. That means more interviews than ever, and hopefully, they say, new ways to share them with the public. They hope to really hit the ground running this July. In the studio, Brian Scott, CBS 2 News.